What do you think of when you hear the word dragon? Some contemplate a large creature that breathes fire, similar to those in popular games and movies, such as Skyrim or Aragon. Others might think of kind, gentle creatures like in the movie Pete's Dragon. Dragons have been discussed for centuries, with different details added from various nations. Yet when was the first record of a dragon? What do they actually look like? Are they real? Find out more in this episode of The Faith and Mystery Files. The word dragon is derived from the Greek word drakon, which means serpent or snake. Around the world, dragons are depicted in different ways. Based on numerous descriptions, drawings, and carvings, we can deduce that dragons may have had the following features. Scales, similar to that of a snake or lizard, large wings, possibly web-like or in structure to birds, sharp teeth, claws, lizard-like body with a long tail, possible ability to breathe out fire. Is there anywhere in history that these creatures with these descriptions are mentioned? Let's take a look at three of the most compelling documents about dragons. The Bible has several passages about creatures with similar features to that of dragons. For example, Job is considered to be the oldest book of the Bible. It was written around the year 2000 BC. In Job 30, Job talks about dragons in verse 29. I am the brother to dragons and a companion to owls. How would Job know about dragons? Were they around during that time? Other verses in the Bible offer additional insight. In Psalms 148, 7, it states, Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all deeps. Micah 1, 8 says, I will make a wailing like the dragons. Did Micah know or witness the sound of dragons? It's an interesting note to point out. Another statement about dragons is made in Isaiah 35, 7. And the parched ground shall become a pool, and the thirsty land springs of water. In the habitation of dragons where each lay. Some even suggest that the Leviathan may be a type of dragon. With over 16 different verses in various books of the Bible, it could be said that dragons may have existed during early biblical times. Next, we have the Hongshan culture. The Hongshan culture was a historic group that originated in northern China. This culture is believed to have lived from 4,500 to 3,000 BC, and is said to have the oldest recorded evidence of dragons. The Hongshan culture created jaded dragon ring-like sculptures. These jade dragons were intricate in design, with the details being very specific in terms of the dragon's eyes, snouts, scales, and shapes. Another important aspect to look at is that jade is considered notable in Chinese culture for its strength and durability. Is it possible that the Hongshan culture witnessed dragons as a part of everyday life? The last documentation of dragons we'll discuss is the dragon fossil discovered in 2009. Osvaldo Rojas was excavating in the town of Cerritos Bayo, Chile. He and his team came across a dragon-like fossil. The rock was sent to the University of Chile to be analyzed. By 2021, it was determined that the fossil was of a creature that was a part of the Ramphorhynchinae subfamily. In other words, a group of large flying reptiles. There are numerous articles about this fossil and whether or not this proves the existence of dragons. Is the fossil of an actual dragon? All these accounts are similar in terms of the descriptions and the attributes of dragons. Additionally, many nations have their own version of what these creatures are, and the descriptions seem to be oddly the same at a basic level. Do the documents above point to the true existence of dragons? What do you think? Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Faith and Mystery Files. 
check out our previous episodes if you'd like to hear other intriguing true stories. We hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, and may God bless you.